Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down list with a combo box. And another example of a, maybe not a drop-down list, but a list with a list box. And these are controls within Excel. So let's go for the first example here. This is a combo box. In the combo box, I can actually select the drop-down. Oops, let me get out of design mode here. I can select the arrow to drop down and select one of these options or there's a field here where I can just go ahead and type in I typed in D and it automatically fills out one of the values disagree. If I hit enter you can see it's already there. Well when I typed it it's already there. So that's a combo box where if I select it and I just tried to do something else you can see that it added that value here. The other thing I was going to show you was this list box. So a list box basically is similar to the drop down, a combo box, but it doesn't have this editable field here. So I can scroll up and down and I can only make this selection here. Now a variation of the list box is this list box that also gives you these radio buttons. So it's something where I can just select that radio button and that option will appear there. So I'll go ahead and show you how to create these different types and controls. What I'm going to do is copy this table, select that, Control C to copy, go into Sheet 2, okay, select that, Control V to paste. Let me go ahead and double click that to auto fit to this. I'm going to name this range too, so I'm going to go and select this and go up in the name box here and I'm just going to call this responses. Press enter. So what you see here is I gave this range a name, so, and you'll see why I did that later on. I'm going to go ahead also and go back and copy these cells so I don't have to type them in again. Let me go back here and Control c to copy, Control v to paste. Let me just go ahead and delete these values here. I don't need them. So the first example I was going to show is the combo box. So in order to create the combo box, you need to go into the developer tab. Now if you don't have the developer tab set up, you need to go and add that in there. Just go under File, under Options, and under Options, I believe it was the Customize Ribbon. And in this tab, the main tabs just have that checked off. Once you have that checked off, you should see the Developer tab. Go ahead and cancel that. So I'm going to go ahead, once I have the Developer tab available, I'm going to insert a control. Now, there's two types of controls, a Form Control and an ActiveX Control. In these examples, I'm going to be inserting ActiveX Controls. So the combo box is here. If you hover over it, you'll see that it explains, it gives you the name of the control. And this one's a combo box. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to go ahead and draw it out. I'm going to drag it over here. Let's just make that size. And this combo box is set up. And what I want to do is, it already has design mode on. And so in design mode, you can actually start to do the editing of the control. So I'm going to go ahead and click Properties. And our properly windows comes up. So there's a few parameters I want to set here. And one of them is the list fill range. So basically, where am I going to get the values to fill in the drop down here? So earlier I had named this range response. I can either type, if I didn't give a name, I could have type type A2 to A6. And it's going to fill in that range for this drop down. And that's one way to do it. But since I gave it a name, I can just type response responses and that's going to fill out the values here when it gets when I click the drop down button now the link cell is where after I made that selection where do I want that selection to go to so in this example I want to go to A11 so I'm going to go ahead and type A11 press enter and you can see if I go out of design mode let me click this to turn off design mode you can see it's not colored anymore and I go ahead and click that drop down. You can see I can select it now. This, if I select disagree, you can see disagree shows up here. So now we see that it kind of cut off the text disagree. So here, let me go ahead and tweak it a little bit. Go, click design mode on and click there and just move that a little bit. And now you can see that I, if I select any of these other ones, it will fill it out here. So that's the combo box drop down. So let me show you the other examples with the list box and the list box with the radio button. So to do that, let me go back into the insert. And I want to insert an ActiveX control again, but this time I want to insert a list box. So let me select that. And I'm just going to draw that out here. So a list box is a little bit different from a combo box. It doesn't have that editable field. 
it just has the option where you can click the drop down and it will show the values right so this is very similar to getting the properties once I select that add the properties windows open for this list box and it tells me it's a list box here so I also want to list, fill out the list fill range so here I want to type in responses and for the linked cell I want to make sure that I type in A13 so it's going to be A13 I can just hit tab or return either one will make sure that it gets entered in there and you can see right now that it cuts off some of the other text at the bottom so I'm just going to move this up so it maybe looks like it's only one text at one time let me turn off design mode and it's still there so let me just tweak this a little bit move this up a little bit okay, let me turn that off now, now you can see I can scroll up and down and make a selection what I can also do if I want to show only a couple values so it doesn't make people feel like there's only one value to choose let me go back into design mode click on the list box is I can increase this size so once I increase that size you can see like now it only shows three options at a time but since there's some room in the scroll let me go ahead and click turn off design mode there's room in the scroll people will know well in, in, in essence you, you probably would get an idea that you have some option to scroll to get and see other values so if I click on there I can see you can see that it puts that value there so that's the list box now to have a list box with a radio button let me go ahead and show you how to do that one so it's very similar to putting this together but with one more option selected so I'm going to go click insert click the active X control list box and I'm going to draw one out here and I'm just going to draw it a little bit bigger. I want to see all of the responses. So I'm going to draw it out a little bit bigger here. And the same thing, I'm going to go ahead and do the fill range. This is called responses. And the link cell, I want to put that in A15 right here. Now, let's see, I can actually format this a little bit. No, you don't want that, that, that long. So let me have it over there. Let me move this over and this doesn't need to be that wide now the difference with this one is there is an option here where we can actually have it selected so I believe that was the list style so by default it, it does the gives it the 0 FM list style plane now we can select that and have that list style option number one here so what that does is it creates these little radio buttons let me go ahead and adjust this width again so with this in mind let me go ahead and turn off design mode you can actually select the radio buttons and it will input it there so this is actually pretty handy because when you really think about it instead of creating separate radio buttons you can just create one radio button and these selections let's say for example you've got a survey and they're all just radio buttons you can put a bunch of these together and have the values inputted into another sheet in a table so you can have it kind of set up nicely that way so instead of creating multiple radio buttons where there is an option to create a radio button you can actually have a list with radio buttons and with those selections it will output it to a cell so there are our examples of how to create a list a drop down list and some other type of list with controls the active x combo control and the active x list control so i hope that helps thanks for watching